So, I want to talk about a new feature that I'm adding to Mark Edit's um, task tool, task uh, process. Um, I get asked periodically to do provide um, more conditional function. So, um, folks may remember or not, um, inside the task tool, um, we have uh, control flow elements. So, you can look and see, and we have control flows, we have counter loops, results loops. I'm adding an if flow. Um, this will allow you to do conditional looks within a record set, uh, within a record, and have the application perform a group of tasks if um, data is present or not present. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what this looks like. And then we can talk about the caveats. So I have a set of test records here that were sent for something else. I'm going to use these for this because they've got a good thing here. Um, I'm looking for things that have the word batch load, and I'm going to remove 900 fields uh, if they have them, and I'm going to leave them if they don't. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Manage Tasks. I'm going to create a new task. Uh, inside here, I'm going to go ahead and create a delete field, and I'm going to delete nine XX fields. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to add the flow, if flow. So here's the, the, the structure. So um, equal, and then the data that I'm looking for will do a if found run what's ever in the if loop, or I can do a not equal, so exclamation point equal. Um, and that'll not found, or I can use a regular expression where I can do um, a little tilde equals to say if it's found or a exclamation point tilde equal, which would be not found as part of the regular expression. So I'm going to do a regular expression to perform an action if the expression is found. So I'm going to do expression that equals, and I'm going to look for data in the uh, six to look and see what field I was looking for. I'm looking for this. All right, so I'm going to say that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a regular expression so that way I don't have to have this exactly like that. So I'm going to go six. So that would be a regular expression of that particular field if I wanted to make it um, just so that you can see how it works. Uh, I could have done a strict find, but we will do that um, and say okay. So now inside of this if statement, it'll only perform this action if um, inside the record there's a 936 with the word batch load in it. It'll remove all the 9xx fields. Otherwise, it'll leave them. So we'll go ahead and save it, close it, and then we're going to go ahead and run it. And 40 fields were deleted. So if we take a look, we see in the first record where there was the batch load, it's been removed. In the second record, um, where there is no batch load, it's been retained. So um, caveats. Uh, in order for this to work, the program has to run on a record by record basis. So the tool has a task broker that determines which would be the best process to run, whether it's um, over all the whether you process it by file or by record type, uh, by, by individual records. In the individual record processing, the program kicks into a, um, uh, a buffer so that it reads chunks of records depending on how large of a record set it is um, and processes those in batches. Because um, the uh, if function runs against data inside a record, um, if you use the if control flow, um, the data buffer is one record at a time. Um, and so, you know, if you're running the tool across um, hundreds of thousands of records, it's probably not going to be particularly fast. And there's probably better ways to do it. 
if you're running it over a traditional data set of anywhere between 0 to 10,000, you're not going to notice really any difference, and that particular flow may work well um, as a way to allow you to process the data in task rather than um, having to extract data sets into subsets and work on those subsets and then either combine the records back together or what have you. So hopefully that'll be useful. Uh, come out with the next version of Mark Edit, which also, um, which will be the last version. No, it'll probably, last version supports .NET 6, which will be frozen and then will be also released use supporting .NET 8 uh, with the version number changing to 7.7. .7. All right, if you have questions, always feel free to let me know.